Powerhouse, presented by Alliant Energy. Welcome back to Powerhouse. Are you thinking about remodeling your home? Or maybe you're thinking about building a new home like we are. Either way, you may want to consider installing radiant floor heat. Although it isn't new technology, it's fast gaining popularity, especially in new home construction. We're going to find out all about how that works today from Jeff Reichert, and he's representing Wurzbo, a leader in radiant floor heat technology. Okay, Jeff, let's start simple. For the consumer, what is radiant floor heat? Radiant floor heat, we utilize a material called PEX tubing. We lay it on the floor and we run hot water through it. And running the hot water through it heats the surfaces around us. To better understand what we're doing, we want to understand the concept of radiant floor heat. The phenomenon called cold 70 or heat chases cold. Here's an example, if you walk downstairs, bare feet on concrete, what happens? you feel cold right. because your body is a mini radiator and all this heat is leaving your body chasing this cold surface trying to heat up that slab which obviously won't happen. So with Radiant Floor what we do is heat the surfaces in your home, get them up to a nice comfortable temperature and then when we don't have cold surfaces around us therefore our body's warm. We don't have this thermal transfer between our body and a cold surface. In theory that's how Radiant Floor works. And what exactly are the benefits of installing Radiant Floor heat? The obvious benefit is we don't have any air blowing around our house. We have no allergens, no dust, no pollutants, no contaminants, no molds to worry about. Um, we do exchange the air in the home with an air to air heat exchanger, um, but the other obvious advantages are with, with uh, respect to uh, laying out your floor plan for your couch, maybe an Audubon or a hutch, you don't have to worry about where the registers are going to go. So you have complete design, you have to worry about drapes laying down over things, getting blown around, and it's just a quieter, much more efficient system. So it really puts the heat where your body is. That is correct. Yeah. What about energy savings? Energy savings, 20 to 40 percent on a norm. That's over a huge a, savings. Huge savings over conventional forced air heat. Um, with that type of heating system, you're blowing air around the home. And uh, there's a misconception between hot air rising and heat. Heat does not rise, but hot air does. So if we're blowing hot air into the home, all the hot air is going to stack up on the ceiling where we don't live. So with radiant floor, we're just obviously going to start saving right from the get-go. Now, there's always a price tag attached to comfort. That What's the correct. price tag for radiant floor heat? Radiant floor heat, it depends. It's a big word we use. It depends, but about a three to $4,000 more bill to start out with and as elaborate as you want to get. Um, the, the benefit for the builder and the consumer on the upfront side is they have a heating and the cooling package all in one package. With radiant, we're going to have the heating side, and then we have to come look at a cooling side. So we're going to have extra costs there. But what would you pay to be comfortable? That's right. What would you pay to be comfortable and 20 to 40 percent savings over the span of a lifetime in a home? I imagine it pays itself off. Absolutely. There's a payback there. There's great. A payback. So if you're building your dream home, why wouldn't you want to be comfortable in your dream home? That's a great way to look at it. Well, you know, the plumbing contractor's here and has been under, you know, getting work underway, so I'm going to go take a closer look at how it's installed. All right. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. Okay, Jim, will you go fasten that down? Yes, sir. Hi, Vince. Hello, Megan. This is our plumbing contractor, Vince King from Brookwood. And what are the guys doing at this point in the game? Well, right now, Megan, uh, we're putting in the closed loop uh, heating radiant floor system. Uh, Gene's fastening it down currently. Uh, we hook that up to a boiler uh, and run hot water through the loops to provide the radiant heat through the floor. What goes on top of that? Uh, we put a uh, poured uh, underlayment on top of that. Of a, it's a lightweight poured underlayment. Okay. Uh, and then generally the floor covering is ceramic tile. Now, if I wanted to put carpet down, could I do that? Yeah, uh, generally if you're going to put carpet, we recommend a, a thinner pad on the carpet so the heat radiates up through the floor a little bit better. What about wood floors? Uh, you can use wood floors also. Uh, we recommend a laminated wood floor uh, as it won't uh, shrink and expand as much as a regular wood floor would. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now when you were talking about the underlayment, I've heard it referred to as concrete. Mm -hmm. Is that an issue um, when you're not on the first floor? Because we're on a first floor right now, but let's say there was a second floor. Mm -hmm. The weight of that, would that be a problem? Uh, well, generally, if you were going to do that, I'm sure the house would be engineered to accommodate that weight. And this uh, underlayment is uh, lighter than uh, the concrete that would go in the basement or something of that nature. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is a really exciting process, and I can't wait to come back when everything's working. Okay. So you get back to Thank work. Thank you. Thank you.